my humblest pranams at the Divine Lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba. My dear Bhagavan, my dear beloved Swami, respected elders, Sai students, Sai sisters, Sai brothers, Sai Ram. Merry Christmas, everybody. It is such a beautiful, beautiful day. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. We, we are among the luckiest people on the face of the earth this Christmas day. We get to be on Christmas day with Jesus himself. Two thousand years ago, for those of you totally unfamiliar with the story of our beloved Jesus Christ, Jesus walked the rugged earth of the Mediterranean with his followers, a very tiny, ragtag band of followers who loved Jesus so very much. His mission lasted for just three short years. Just like that, it was gone. But for a long time, After he was crucified, accounts of his deeds, accounts of his actions and love spread forever by word of mouth for the first century alone. I heard the boys here this morning sing so vibrantly and so clearly. Jesus said, I and the Father are one. The one who sent me will come again. He's here before you now. So what was it really about this young man that caused, this young man named Jesus that caused so many people, small band of people at first, larger groups later, billions eventually, to follow him and to love him for 20 long centuries? It was his message of peace and love, not unfamiliar at all to you, and his personal experiences that he bestowed upon his flock, upon those who followed him. Jesus healed the sick. He brought the dead back to life again. For those who were blind, he restored their sight. He impacted people's lives in ways they could never forget. And 2,000 years later, he has come again. Our Lord God made manifest Bhagavan. Beloved Swami, you are not only the Christ consciousness, you are my Christ consciousness, to whom I turn for everything in my life. I am so very grateful. This is such a privilege for me today to be with my friends and people I don't know except through my Psy connection. As our most loving parent, you reach us Absolutely, when the moment is perfect, Sai Baba's divine love reaches people every minute of every day. But it's not done on your schedule. It's done when he wills it. We wait for him to come into our lives, and we recognize it if we're at all awake. This might sound a little presumptuous, and I don't mean it to be, but perhaps it is. Because I'm a television journalist, I thought just maybe in some small way, Eventually, I might be able to assist the Sai cause and bring Swami's name to other countries around the world. It was presumptuous on my part. About nine years ago, I had the distinct privilege to be able to ask Baba if I could take his name to America, to which he gave a resounding, No! Take my love instead. Even though Baba's name is now being spread here, there, and everywhere by his wonderful devotees, for me in that moment, at that time, that was the right message for me. And there's a reason for it. He wanted me to first become submerged in his love. I tasted his love. Submerged in his love is what he had in store for me. 
Back home in America, where so very, very few people even know how to begin the process of seeking true, heartfelt happiness in their lives. The seva that my wife Jody and I love to engage in is presenting Sai to the inquisitive. Many people in America have never heard his name or seen his form. We Sai devotees mourn that. There's a good number of people who have heard this much about Sai Baba, about Bhagavan. And even though they only have heard this much, they have an appetite that's that big to learn more. It is our privilege to be able to step in that gap. As well, we also do, as you heard, recording video interviews with Sai devotees, not just in Cleveland, Ohio, not just in Prashanti Nilayam, but around the world. He has given that grace to us. It is our life's greatest privilege to share Sai this way. However, we now realize this is merely a privilege and a pleasure that he graciously grants us. Really, it's an exercise for our own spiritual growth. We all have different avenues to get to the same destination. This is the avenue he has given us. And in fact, it is proven to be sort of a, sort of a Leela, I like to call a boomerang Leela of the highest order, as you will soon see in just a couple of minutes. Baba doesn't need the Hindu newspaper. He doesn't need the BBC. He certainly does not need a television journalist from Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States to carry his name, nor does he need anybody else. Baba needs no one to help him. I've heard that so many times, and I embrace it so clearly today. Sai Baba needs nobody to carry his message, to identify his purpose, to spread his mission. He makes his presence known wherever in the world he chooses, at exactly as I said earlier, the right moment he chooses and how he chooses. He does this through the grace of individual heart-to-heart -heart personal experiences. Like Jesus, the son of a carpenter who was born in Bethlehem, Sri Satya Sai Baba gives each of us our own unmistakable experiences that awaken us from our very deep slumber. He does this for only one purpose, so that we may come to know what he is really here to give us. And of course, you already know the answer to that. Liberation itself, through his unfathomable love. Just think of it. There's not a soul in this hall today, not a single one of you, who does not have a story to share about how this avatar has entered his or her heart. Each story is unique. Each is miraculous and intimate, a divine romance that will outlive our bodies even. And it happens to millions of people daily the world over simultaneously. Swami has given me my latest personal example of this, just this week, a woman friend of mine in America was very sick. She's 88 years old. She knows very little about Sai Baba, but she loves Bhagavan very much. She sent me a message here last week asking me to pray to Swami for her health, for a serious operation on her colon that she was going to be having this week. I did what any of you would naturally do. I quickly informed a side brother of mine. He got into his car. He drove many miles. He carried a small packet of Baba's Babuti to this woman's home in this woman's community after a several hour drive. The next day, Baba took a letter from me requesting his mercy for this woman. That night, the woman spread that Babuti all over her abdomen. She went to bed. The very next morning, she was healed. Surgery canceled. <laughs> this happened this week, 10,000 miles away. Swami is not bound by time or space. The woman calls it a miracle. She sent me a message that was the first words on the message. A miracle has happened, and we are forever privileged and grateful to the work of our beloved Bhagawan.
Personal experiences like this go way beyond the omniscience and the omnipresence. This is worldwide, interactive, tender, loving care, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Who but God could create such unmistakable moments in so many people's lives? It is our Baba, our beloved Swami. This avatar knows his devotees so intimately, and he wants to privately interact with them on a soul level, and he does all the time. It is this golden heart-to-heart link, one person at a time, that will ever and forever transform all of us. Sai Baba has showed his heart-to-heart connection clearly to us through his many and varied stories that, as I said, and you've heard, Jody and I collect while doing video interviews with devotees. At first, I thought the real purpose of these efforts was to record and preserve for the sake of posterity these precious accounts of divinity revealing itself to others. That was a goal of merit all by itself. Why not save for posterity? If only we had saved the stories of Jesus' followers 2,000 years ago to the extent we're capable of saving the stories and preserving them forever of our beloved Bhagavan. That's what I thought at first. But that wasn't quite the reason. Swami's purpose, the real purpose, to transform this man who once he himself called a good boy, but a doubting Thomas, into a trusting Ted. And he has succeeded. I was born under the astrological sign of the Libra. I'm a journalist. I guess I've been working at journalism for the better part of 40, 45 years. That's not necessarily a very good combination for people who really want to pursue the spiritual life, who want to come close to God. It's almost impossible, in fact. Libra, the scales of justice, journalists balancing both sides against the center, and on and on and on. We can never make up our minds. I've told people for 20 years I could never sit on a jury because I could never render a verdict. I'm incapable of doing so. And when it comes to my own spiritual life transformation, I found to my sadness the same was true for so long. It is not in my nature to be fully convinced or committed to anything because I always tend to see every side of every story and every spiritual element and even of the holy of most holies. For many years I tried to suspend judgment to be primarily a witness and observer to what I saw even happening here before my very eyes in Prashanti Nilayam. This is maybe our 14th visit here. And for many of those years, I came still as a journalist, still as a Libra. Thank God those days are over. But our beloved Swami is so very clever. First he hooks you and then he cooks you. He has cooked me so very well, slowly, sweetly, allowing me to do my Sai devotee video work for all these years, even though I really didn't know what he was up to. There was more there than met the eye, only for me to find out at a later time. In fact, after 11 years now, we've recorded well over 100. And I've got to say this because it's true. It's not me. It's the people we talk to. One hour long, magnificent stories from loving and holy and spiritually transformed human beings who love Bhagavan. Swami has allowed us to learn at the feet of his apostles and disciples. But here's the surprise. Here's the boomerang Leela I alluded to a couple of minutes ago. I thought I was collecting these stories to show to others to be used as a tool to change their lives, especially people in the middle. I thought it would help change their lives. But all the while, and it brings a smile to my face because this is not an old discovery, it's relatively recent to me, all the while, unbeknownst to me, Baba was using these same stories told to me, which I was recording year after year after year, To change myself. To change me. And it happened. 
Time after time, devotee after devotee told me the most amazing stories of our beloved Bhagavan. I heard their words. I saw their tears. I felt their love. I tasted their passion. And I too was changed. Who did this to me? How could such a thing ever happen? How on earth could a 63-year-old man set in his ways, whose heart was encased in a cage of rigid steel, be pierced by this form of love? I've prayed for it my whole life. I knew what I was up against. I know how stubborn I am. I know how much of a journalist, Libra, etc., etc., etc. And I never thought this heart would be pierced. Thanks be to God it has been. I know how, and so do you. And perhaps the most profound thing I can tell my side, brothers and sisters, my friends, my relatives, is this. Now even I cannot deny or equivocate any further. This can only be the work of God. As Jesus was once with us 2,000 years ago, God is here again with us now, our beloved Bhagavan. Beloved Baba, beloved dear sweet Swami, we are filled with your gratitude for the many endless experiences that you give to us all. Continue, please, to be the presence in our lives, whether we live inside the ashram with you, as many here do, or outside the ashram, way over there on Samadhi Road, or 10,000 miles away in a place called Cleveland, Ohio, where I live. You melt my heart, Swami. And I know you melt the heart of everybody here. But you melt my heart when you make me so vividly aware of your devotees who have been touched by your divine hand. Beloved Swami, we are all most grateful for the continuous personal experiences that you provide for us all. They are the engine that drives us towards our heart's transformation. To some of the people you give personal experiences by coming into their dreams. I wish you'd come into my dreams more. I vividly love your presence, but it's only about once or twice a year. For some people, you help us with our leelas. On that score, you give me plenty of favor, and I'm very grateful. To some people, you give personal experiences by talking sweetly into their ear. To other devotees, to other people, you give personal experiences by allowing a book to fall on them. Sometimes you allow a book to fall right on their head. They're books they need to read. How many stories have I recorded from people who have had exactly that Leela happen to them? The book that changed their life was the book that fell on top of them one day when they were least expecting it. And still others experience your presence through outright miracles. As my friend, my wonderful friend Harriet Freeman in Galleon, Ohio, did this week. Dear Swami, we followers who are discovering your divine hand in our lives are all of us here. The Russians, and there's so many of you here. The Indians, the Nepalese, and English, and Africans. You who are Italians and Brazilians and all the rest of us here. We devotees go back to our homelands changed people. As our hearts are transformed, in almost all cases, our actions are transformed. And as others slowly to begin to recognize this, the pathway to more and more hearts opens to love. Beloved Swami, you have taught us so very well. Let us all always remember to be grateful. Let us all always remember what you tell us over and over again. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Let us pray. Let us pray.
Most beloved Bhagavan, beloved Mother, Father, God, we pray you take us deeper and deeper each day into the majesty of your divine awareness. We pray you continue to make manifest to us your all-flowering, fragrant love. For Jody and my children, Joanna and Adam, and for everyone else in every part of the world, show us the way. Please show us the way home. And finally, awaken us from this dream so that we may become more aware of our oneness with you. Sairam. 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 Sairam.